Hello people, in this video we want to look at uh, a terminology called Woodruff's plexus. Basically, Woodruff's plexus, it is a plexus of veins, okay, venous plexus, here you can see marked venous plexus, right? It's a plexus of veins, venous plexus, where is it? It is in the posterior part, right, of the nose. <clears throat> so, what is it? It is a plexus of veins situated inferior to the posterior end of the inferior turbinate. Wow! Inferior to the posterior end of inferior turbinate. So, they are talking about the inferior turbinate, its posterior end and inferior to that. Wow! So, look at this and let us try to understand where is the inferior turbinate. Here you have the inferior turbinate. So, posterior to the inferior turbinate, that is this area and inferior part of that posterior part here. So, here you have the Woodruff's area. So, can you tell where the Woodruff's uh, plexus are? They are venous plexuses. Where are they situated? Inferior part of the posterior end of the inferior turbinate. Wow. Okay. What is its clinical significance guys? It is a site of posterior epistaxis in adults. Very specifically they are telling in adults. So in adults, <coughs> posterior epistaxis, one of the cause can be Woodruff's area. What is epistaxis? Bleeding, right? So bleeding. So here instead of anterior, posterior epistaxis is happening. Bleeding is happening here into the throat, right? Anterior epistaxis will be usually because of casal black, black plexus which is more of an artery plexus. But here it is a venous plexus but still it is bleeding right so posterior epistaxis can be because of woodruff's plexus which are venous plexus anterior can be because of kaisel black's plexus which are present where in the little area so you have understood now what this woodruff's plexus are right so epistaxis is what bleeding from inside of the nose right and there are two types in that, anterior epistaxis and posterior epistaxis. There are many sites of epistaxis, most common will be Little's area. This uh, Woodruff's area, posterior epistaxis is not very common. Mainly you should understand that uh, you should be able to identify the source of the blood. Because sometimes the blood will, yes, uh, posterior epistaxis means what? Blood will flow into the uh, back of the throat. So pa patients may swallow it and then they can vomit it, right? So, if there is a coffee colored vomit, so basically, basically if the person has a coffee colored vomit, okay, from here, coffee colored vomit, then it can be because of this posterior epistaxis, okay. So, you should not think it is hematemesis, you should not think that it is blood vomit, right. You should, you should be able to think of posterior epistaxis. So that's all in this video guys. We have looked at this terminology Woodruff plexus. Wood rough. You wouldn't even know it's in the nose. Wood rough. Okay. Woodruff's plexus. Plexus is a giveaway. You would know it is a but here it is a plexus of veins. Okay. So the cause can be uh, usually spontaneous or hypertension or arteriosclerosis for this uh, posterior bleed. Okay. Posterior bleeds are usually more severe than anterior bleeds. They are not very common. Posterior epistaxis is less common but it is more severe. It is more serious.